Do you ever need to run a script at a particular time each day or at particular time intervals? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to write a script that you can use to add a certain amount of time every time the script is run or that you can run at a specific time like 9 a.m. And it's going to run at 9, not at anywhere between 9 and 10. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right in. So we're doing two primary things. And so the first thing is the major thing, right? Which is scheduling the script to run again every time it runs based on the time period that you want it to run at. So whether that's every day at a particular time or if you run, want it to run multiple times a day. And so the other part of it is that we're going to do a little cleanup as we go. And so every time we run, we're going to delete the trigger that it just ran under. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's start by deleting our old trigger. And so we'll just call this delete old trigger. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use the property service to track this. And so I'm going to check the property service to see if there's anything existing, which the first time we run it, there is not going to be. But we're just going to get the script properties and then we're going to get a property. And so the property that we're going to call it is script ID. And so if this does not exist, it's going to be null. And so we're going to say if it's not null, then we're going to delete that trigger. And so to delete that trigger, we're going to get the list of triggers. And that is script app get triggers. And then we're just going to quickly iterate through the triggers. We'll just use a simple for loop here. And then inside this, we're going to say if the triggers unique ID is equal to the script ID, if we've saved it, then what we're going to do is we're actually going to delete that trigger. And then we can just use that iteration right there. And so that will delete our old trigger. So this is just a little cleanup because otherwise what happens in your triggers here, as you add more and more triggers, you're going to have all the old ones here and it gets a little bit tiresome to have a bunch of them there. So let's jump into the main part here. And that is determining our new trigger time. And so what we're doing here is every time the script runs, we want to automatically set up to run the next time we want it to run. And so let's go ahead and just set some variables. Like for example, let's just do let add minutes. And so we'll start with adding minutes and then I'll show you how to change it if you want to add a day. So for example, if you want it, want it to run at 9 a.m. every day. And so next, let's figure out the current time. And so let's just do let right now equals to new date. And so that will get the current date and time. And then let's go ahead and say let this hour equal to right now. And then we're going to modify this. So this hour, set hours, and we're going to set this because what happens is Google run within a time slot that you've given it. And so if you set the script to run at a certain minute, for example, it's going to run within that minute. And so if we don't adjust this, then it's going to keep sliding and you're going to kind of have the same effect as when you just do run at certain hours. And so what we're going to do here is get right now, get hours. And if you can see up here, here's our variables that we can set here or the arguments. So hours, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. So this determines what we want to do here. So if, for example, you were setting it for a certain time each day, this is where you'd set like nine or something like that. But let's go ahead and just do this right now. Get minutes. Zero, zero. So what this is doing is it's getting the hours and the minutes from the current time, but it's disregarding the seconds and then setting them to zero. And so at this point, we're going to do let next run time. We're going to do a function. We're going to write a new function here. We're going to call it minutes later, and then we're going to use this hour and add minutes. So let's go ahead and write that function real quick. So there's going to be a function outside of this one. 
it's going to be just a little helper function. And so we're going to call this minutes later. And then what we're going to take is right now and minutes. And so inside this function, what we're going to do is let's start with let this time equals to right now get time. And so what that's going to do is get time in milliseconds since well, it January 1st, 1970. And then we're going to do some math on it. And that's why we're getting the time. So we're going to do let our add. And that's going to be minutes times 60 seconds times a thousand milliseconds. So this is how we can add a specific number of minutes. Add plus this time. And so our future date, our future time is going to be a new date. And then we'll use that new time. And then we can return to our original, our future date. So what this helper function is going to do is take our current time and then add a specific number of minutes. And so we can go ahead and take a look at what this will look like. Let's do a console log and we'll do right now and next runtime. So let's run this real quick to see what this looks like. We'll have to authorize it real quick. And then here we go. So current time. So 17, 12 and 17, 17. And if you notice, there's no seconds on here. It's stripping those off. So it's taking the current time and adding five minutes. And so this is the next run time right here. And then this is the right now. So it looks like it's working perfectly. So we have a five minute next runtime. And so now all we need to do is create our trigger and then we'll save that trigger ID back to this script ID so we can delete it the next time we run this. So let's do let new trigger. And this is going to be script app new trigger. And then inside the new trigger, you reference the function name, which is going to be the same one that we are in. And then this will be a time based trigger. And then what we're going to use the method is going to be at. And we're not going to use that hour. We're not going to use every whatever we're going to use at. And so this is where we can specify a specific time. And this will be our next runtime that we came up with. So now we can go ahead and create. And then we want to get that unique ID. And so now we can go to the property service again. Get script properties, set property, and we're going to do that script ID, and we're going to do that new trigger. So at this point, we got everything in place to do a five minute increment. And so if you ran this right now, it would set a new trigger for five minutes from now, and then it would run every five minutes from then on out. And so at this point, obviously just running the script isn't going to be super useful, but we could add our rest of script below here. And so what it'll do is it'll clean up our old triggers. It'll process, figure out when the next trigger needs to run. And then you can run what you're actually running in your script and this will all run automatically. So let's go ahead and run it and just see if it creates a trigger. So let's check our triggers. Nothing here right now. Let's go ahead and run this. And so here's when our next trigger should be. So 1719. And so let's jump into our triggers. Oh, and here we go. There's one. So let's go ahead and edit. And there is our trigger time. So that is working perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this just for now. And then let's go back to the editor. And so the other thing I want to show you is what if you want to run this a specific time each day? And so often what happens is maybe you want it to run at 9, 9 a.m. or 8 a.m. And when you've done the run at hour, it runs anywhere between, you know, 9 and, and 10. So it's 
it's not working quite the way you're wanting it to work. So let's go ahead and look at what it takes to do a specific time every day. So we're going to refactor some of this. And so one thing we're going to do is let's add another helper function real quick. And so this one we're going to call function add days. And, and this one we're going to do selected date and days. So this is going to be similar to this minutes later, which can be slightly different. So I'm going to actually steal this. And what we're going to do here is in this one, let's go ahead and let's flip this around real quick. So a thousand milliseconds, and then we need, there's 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes in an hour and 24 hours in a day and that times days so if we say one day we need it to be one times the sum of those and so when you do this get time it's the milliseconds since um, 1970 and so we just need to turn the date into a number so we can do some math on it and then we'll turn it back into a date so here's our add and then new time add plus this time and then return future date so we only had to do a little bit of tweaking to get this to work. Um, let me actually make sure I finish this here. Select a date. There we go. I didn't have that right now in there. All right, so now we have our add days. So let's look at what it takes to modify this to run on days instead of minutes. So we don't need this add minutes. We can change this to add days. And let's just say one. And this is where we can change our set hours. So we can do um, this day, for example, instead of right now. And then this day, we're going to set hours. And, then, and we're going to do this day and add days. So uh, we also need to change this one to add days. Oh, speaking of rich, I can't have this in the same name as that. So let's do, let's just do add. There we go. All right. So last thing here. So this is where you can just set what you want the time to be. So let's say you want it to run at 9 a.m. You can just set it just like that. And you can actually set it if you want it to run at 9.15. You can set it like that. Um, or if you want to run at 7 or at uh, two o'clock. So you can just determine what time you want it to run here every day. And this is how you would set that. And then you can just add that day. And so let's go ahead and just put these off like that. Go ahead and just run this and see what it comes up with. So we have July 9, 7 a.m. And so our next runtime is going to be tomorrow at 7 a.m. And so let's go ahead and do this. And then actually run this. And so we should have a trigger for July 10, 7 a.m. So let's check this out. So July 10, 7 a.m. All right, perfect. All right, so that is it for today's video. Make sure to check out our other videos for more tutorials on Google Sheets and Apps Script. So I'll put a link to a Google Sheets project with this script in it so that way you can get to it. And I'll have both copies in there of the adding minutes or the adding days. So that way you guys can jump in here and get started. So as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.